Mirror, mirror on the wall, is my body beautiful? Ooh, uh, not really. <laughs> no. What, what do you mean, not really? That's a bit rude, isn't it? Is it, is it because my hair looks like a weird nest? If we believe everything that we tell ourselves, we can run into big trouble quick. It's not always easy to feel confident about your body. I mean, sure, things like exercising and eating healthily can help, but it's also about having the ability to like yourself from the inside out. I mean, not literally, obviously, that would be weird. But by looking at how negative our own thoughts can be, we get an understanding of why sometimes we think we want to change the way we are. Today, I'm meeting up with musical Bethan to talk about body confidence and self-esteem and discuss how you can look after your body and your mind. Hi, how's it going? I'm all right, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Come in, come in. Thank you. Hey, Bethan. Hey, Jimmy. Hi, nice place. Thanks for inviting me down. Not my problem. Thank you for coming. I um, well, <laughs> thanks for going to chat to me all about, um, about body confidence. It's a big old issue. There's a lot in there. What do you think makes a good body? I personally think everybody is good in the sense that we're like all different shapes and sizes. Like exercising and eating healthy is obviously really important to, mm -hmm. you know, to look after yourself, basically. And I think that's what makes a good body. It's yeah. just looking after yourself, really, yeah. I guess we all we all have our hang-ups, don't we? We all have our issues with our bodies, how we look. What would be your advice to somebody to, to get more self-confidence? I feel like no one else will look at you the same way you do. Like, mm -hmm. someone will look at somebody and go, God, you know, they look in shape. Like, they look like they look after themselves. You know, they have a nice figure. They, you know, all these different things. And then to you, you might think, oh, I look fat, I look this, I look that. And people shouldn't be so hard on themselves. Yeah, for sure. Like, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself because th there's literally no reason to at the end of the day. But you're right. I think that often people are their own worst critic. Yeah. It's, I, I'm exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I'll make a video, watch it back and be like, oh, my God, I look so weird. Why didn't yeah. I sort my hair out before starting this? I look yeah. really spotty. And I'll be picking out all these things that probably no one else will even notice yeah. at all. But I think it's quite a natural thing. But I found with me, I've got a lot better as I've got older. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like with age, I've got more confident and I've learned to sort of embrace the things that previously would have stressed me out a little bit. No, I'm completely the same. I think that body confidence and self-esteem can be a particular issue when you're at school because it's a bit of a test in time anyway. Everyone wants to fit in. Did you struggle with body confidence when you were at school? Yeah, like so, so much. And, you know, I think it's because a lot of kids can be cruel to other kids. Oh, yeah. Especially, you know, like when you're going through puberty and stuff like that and like people's ch uh, bodies change at different times. I guess sometimes maybe it's like a competition in a weird way. Oh, yeah, it's, for um, sure. And I think especially as well, you know, a lot of kids are crueler to other kids because they have their own body anxieties as well. But as you get older and wiser, you realise that, you know, like you're mature enough and wise enough to know that your body is your body and everyone has different bodies and that is totally okay. So Yeah, for sure. You've just got to accept that that's the way you are and you might as well love yourself for it. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thanks very much for chatting to me, Bethan. Not a this problem. This has been lovely. I know. I, I had such a good time. I'm definitely not going to leave, though. Oh, you God. might have a problem <laughs> on your hands there. Sorry about that. That's right. <laughs> well, we invited some people down to the Rise Above Vlog booth to hear what they thought about body confidence. I definitely think celebrities affect people's body confidence because celebrities are often people that we look up to. I, I don't feel pressured to have a certain way because I'm happy with how I am when. If celebrities have like unreachable standards or like they're, you just, they have flawless bodies, then it's going to affect people because they want something they can never have. Body confidence is definitely important because it's a way of showing that you're not only physically healthy but also emotionally and socially, mentally healthy. If you're not really comfortable with your body, you'll be changing who you are too much and people won't know who's actually underneath all of that fake things. We all have to live in our own bodies every day of our lives and it's the first thing that other people see in us. So body confidence is definitely important because when you feel confident in your body, you feel happy. <laughs> hey Mira, now is my body beautiful? Of course it is, Jimmy. That's better. Comment below, let us know your tips for getting body confidence.